I recently discovered a channel, Hyperplexed, and from one of its videos, I got to visit this website. It has an amazing UI interface, but these are the two most attractive of all according to me. Well, I shall not dig much into the engineering of the first one since it is already a piece of content for Mr. Hyperplexed. But what about the second one? Let's see if I can transform a black canvas to something like this. Now, I would not really venture much into the reverse engineering of this process because half of the work is already complete. You see the wand there? That's already made by Mr. Hyperplexed. If you visit his channel, you gotta get to the code and you can literally copy and import some portion of it. So let's do that. Alright, what's next after that? Text. Sorry, two texts. The one lying on the top and one lying on the bottom. Let's create two p tags having texts. You can write anything you want. Both the text should exist at the same y level. And both the text should have the same width. Let's now give some makeup to our first text using CSS. I would set the position absolute with some lateral and vertical offset. Make the overflow hidden and a gradient background that looks fancy. Let's style the upper text now in the same way. I would give a white linear background but for the effect I will prefer to keep the width zero. I will connect it to a document style variable so that I can update it later using JavaScript. I will also create a mask. I am gonna say you later why. And it should have the same background as of the screen with the height and the width covering the lorem text totally having the same width value of the text above. Now let's do some javascript for the magic to occur. The idea is to detect the wand while it is inside the text below and then slowly expand the width of the text above it along with the movement of the mouse. The increase of the value of the width should be proportional to that of the movement of the wand. The javascript already contains a mouse move event from the code that we have imported. Let's now continue creating more of it. We create an if condition in the same mouse move function to check if the wand is present inside the bounding rectangle of the text. For a better detection, I give it an offset to the left side. I calculate the total width of the text and the percentage of the progress of the wand in the range of 0 to 100. Then I map the values from 0 to 100 with a ratio of 0 to width of the text. I define a constant variable which contains a function to map the values with the simple ratio proportion mathematics. This way I will be able to correlate the movement of the wand to the width of the text above. Now using the animate function I animate the text to move along with the wand smoothly. The mask that I created before would be animated alongside the text since we need to slowly hide the text beneath the text above. The animation timings has to be slower than that of the wand to prevent clipping of the text from the sides. Let's now create another section for the stars and streamers. I will make the height and the width such that it encloses our lorem text. I will set the background transparent. With some more CSS and JavaScript, I create the star patterns where each streamer has its own lifetime and pulses slowly. The x and y coordinates are set random too within the domain of the height and width. And that's the closest I can get in terms of brainstorming and reverse engineering of such an amazing UI. My Patreon offers the access to full source code. Link in the description.